Welcome back everybody, back again another week, another week over with, another week of lockdown, well, getting a bit silly now isn't it, uh, anyway, good news, bloody good news, um, my missus had a phone call a couple of days ago, she's got an appointment for the operation next Thursday the 4th, so she's got to be in there for half past 7 in the morning. <laughs> So um, I just want to say thanks to all the um, well-wishers like, you know, over the past few um, weeks. She's, I mean, she, she's overwhelmed by all the um, kind of messages of support, like, you know, what she's had from all the different people all over the world, like, you know, all the different subscribers, like, and, well, thanks to everyone, really. She's just like to say thanks to everyone and, well, myself too, thanks to everybody for all the kind messages. Of support so anyway next week is is the day so um hopefully she's going to be a lot better after this so i'll be glad to get it all over and finish with anyway let's get on with this uh, nice uh, nice um comments received by um well first of all I'll, i'd like to welcome a few um new subscribers to the channel um graham needham paddy973 j G24 Diecast, Paul S, John Tinker, Ronston, Eric Glass, 25PD RFG, um, Phoenix1481, Postella, Plop Gun, <laughs> that's a funny name, Plop Gun, Ricky R. Montalvo, and the gaming pug 215 welcome to you all new subscribers hope you enjoy the channel so far well, must have watched a few of the old videos i suspect by now and um loads of nice comments received again by um, barry shaxton derek Rowe, barry bakewell ian h pixie gemini curtis armstrong matt pedro b mid uh restoration australia mop mop and Alex Gonzalez, Model Restoration. Thanks to you all for your nice comments. Anyway, let's get on with the few things that have been left. Oh, I was just going to say, I was watching um, crap old Nick doing that Pullman. Christ, I thought he was going to drill through his, through his hand. I did send him a message about it. He's, he's replied here, look. Um, <clears throat> Mercedes Pullman. You know me by now, Bob, this tight old jurisman, because I, I said to him, I said, you want to get some new drills, I think. Got to get his money's worth out of the drill bits, even if it means drilling a hole into my hand. I thought, bloody hell. I mean, if you watch him, I had to turn away a few times. Get yourself some new drill bits, Nick. Come on. They're not that dear. Um, Graham Mummery. Uh, another top video, Bob. Excellent work, as always. Love the new intro as well. Great news referring your missus. Stay safe and well, Bob. Both of you. Yeah, the um, the new intro. I hope you all like it. I, a, Ian Ellie helped me with that really because he sent me a card, and I quite like the background on it. It was um, all old-fashioned stuff like curly whirly, and I thought I'm going to make my own intro up out of that one day. So I, I scanned it into the computer, the old picture of it, and well, that, as you see, that's the results. So I'm glad you all like it. Well, most of you anyway. I've, I've had no um, negative feedback from it yet, so. Anyway, let's get on. Bill's Diecast Customs. Great job again, Bob. Fiddly one, lots of that. Yeah, that paint went on well. I've noticed a lot of rattle can paint. With a lot of rattle can paint, you don't always need to clear coat it, especially a lot of enamels. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know, did I? And I know what it's like trying to, to do something on camera. It's a pain sometimes. Take care, mate. Look forward to the next one. Oh, <clears throat> P.S. 141 likes so far, no sign of the phantom plonker who keeps leaving the thumbs down. Well, Bill, if you take a look now, he's there, he's done it. He, the phantom thumbs downer. <laughs> I don't know why, who he is, but he's all, he's always leaving the thumbs down somewhere along the line. I think he just waits for me to put a video up and then there it is, but who cares? Anyway, Sean Stevens asked me, um, yeah, this is about the paint now again. Do I use acrylic paints on my models? It's just starting out, out apparently. Well, Sean, as I, as I did, I did reply to you. I don't know what it is. Apparently, if car paint, as I've shown in many of my videos, 
what paint I do use, I, I've told everybody all the time, it's car paint, it's what the army there that just ordinary car spray paint. If that's acrylic, then yes I do. Because that's where I come a cropper when I tried putting um, lacquer over over the top of that red enamel once and it started flaking up. You can't put acrylic over the top of enamel apparently, I didn't know. I'm not a paint expert. But yeah. I do use acrylic ones if, if that's what car paint is and yes I do <clears throat> Jeff Baker man Bob that booming carriage basket assembly was very fiddly but educated us on all, all on how it's built and how it works mechanically even with the small inconveniences Bob you did a very good restoration on the snorkel fire truck I always learn something from you and your restorations you're never boring my friend you keep holding my interest with no trouble at all <laughs> very glad your missus for your missus Bob she will soon get a sweet procedure and she will come out of this splendidly we will all pray for her and you Bob you take care of my friend see you on the next build well I hope, hope she does mate um, it's next week like I say that's what I'm worried about now I'm just hoping that everything's going to be alright so you know this time next week we'll, we'll know a bit more uh, Jeff Moore hi Bob how did how well did that turn out? Fantastic. The thing to remember with paint is you can put enamel over acrylic, but you can't put acrylic over enamel. <laughs> I learned that, <coughs> pardon me, working for my brother at his um, crash repairs in the 90s. Oh, well, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I found out the hard way. Um, Keith Edmonds. Nice job, Bob. Very awkward to do a fantastic shine. Good news on the missus, hope oh, it goes okay. By the way, great job on the mini I sent. Yeah, he's the previous video, the 2000 subscriber video. One of the minis is what he sent me. He's, I'm glad you I'm glad you like the way it came out, Keith. Ian Bradnett, well done again, Bob. You immersed yourself in this one. Good job you had a snorkel. Glad everything with the wife is sorting out. Best wishes to you and both from Ian and family. Thank you, Ian. Um, Peter Dixon. Well, Bob, that looked to be one of your most challenging makeovers, but I have to say one of the best results. Looks gorgeous, so very well done. Cheers, Peter. Cheers, Peter. And finally, Lawrence Griffin. Hi, Bob. Great restorations. Nice to know you can get some things wrong like the rest of us. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not to pay that. Um, but I like the way you work, work it out, and the item looks good at the end. Very entertaining as far as I'm concerned. I have fingers like walls pork sausages and I have a lot of trouble holding small nuts and bolts um, I found some tweezers in a hardware store two in a pack made by Rosen they are called self grip one is a straight one and one is curved they are spring loaded Bob and brilliant for holding small items great show mate take care regards Griff well thanks Griff I'll, I'll have a look for them and see if I can find a set Rosen, that's a pretty um, well-known um, name anyway. So anyway, um, that's it, really. Um, what we got today? Um, oh yeah, the horse box. The, um, when, at the time of making this video, I didn't have all the parts, like the horse or the um, canopy which goes on the back of the Land Rover. But I have got them now. But I will show, like when we do like, the end of year video, when I show all the things I've done, I well, you'll see it with the canopy and the horse in there. But it came out pretty good, actually. Um, so enjoy the video. I'll catch you again next week. So bye for now. Right, today we've got the um, GS2 Corgi um, gift set with um, Pony Rice Tech trailer. Uh, the trailer has been kindly donated by Mr. Paul Billet, and the old Land Rover is something I picked up myself at a toy fair. So, um, anyway, this is what we're dealing with. I've, I've took the windscreen out, as you can see, and this is going to be our restoration job for the day. So, anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, as you saw on the turntable, I've already took this apart quite simple really this this bit here comes apart there's just one rivet there <clears throat> I'm not going to take that one out because that doesn't really do anything it's only holding that clip on 
and I can get away with not worrying about that. The main part we want is the rivet there, so that comes away like that. And then when you tilt it like that, as you see, the door opens slightly because it clips into the actual, the door just comes out like that. When you put it back together, you will put it back at an angle like that so you can slide the door down and put the old, the little door pins, oh, the little door pins into the um, pieces like that. But you've got to slide that piece in first. So that comes apart pretty easy. So that's all ready to get, I've already drilled it all out that. That's all ready to get, um, what do you call it, done in the old core stick. Take the tires off, quite simple there for that. They'll all just pop off. They're quite good tires on here actually, there's quite a bit of um, play in them, so they're not gone crisp. They're all gone hard and crunchy. So they're all right, we can use them again. Now this, this part here, I'm gonna spray this black. So I'm just wondering <clears throat> whether I ought to take these off. I think what I'm gonna do with this one is take these wheels off of this and, you know, redo them on me um what do you call it thing me drill press when i put them back on so most likely i'll take them wheels off give them a good polish up and then i can spray all this piece in black without worrying about the wheels or the axles so that's got to be done you know where i take wheels off you just you've seen it on loads of videos you just file around into it put the pin pulls out and that's it no, no rocket science involved with that this one was quite simple to take apart. There's a very small rivet on the back. Oh no, the back one's not too bad, it's the front one. The tire just pulls out, as you see, it fell out anyway. But when you take this off, I'll take this off now. That comes off pretty easy, so that's that's just gonna have to be stripped. I'm gonna have to replace some of these tires. But <clears throat> when drilling this one out with a for the rivets you're right on this side because you've got a bit of a chunk there that you can go down so far on it but this one here i think what i'll have to do with that i've actually bought some stuff epoxy i've got it here i don't know if you notice i've got um if i move the camera i don't know if you can notice i've organized everything i've bought three of them organized towers bargain shop job <laughs> four quid each <laughs> but they do the job it keeps all my stuff all sorted out now now i bought this and what i'm going to do yeah. is um put it together that front rivet i'm going to put a bit of that on there and then that should um you know cover that that load it but anyway first job is um get all these manky old tires off because they are a bit manky on this one and the first job would be um i think they're falling to bits easier yeah they are they're looking a bit chewy look at the state of them i'm gonna have to see if i've got any tires that's chunky enough to go on this one because it's a land rover look at the state it's all sticking to it and everything look they're pretty crunchy I must say don't think I want to use them again this is going to have to go in for stripping that one I'm not going to put in for stripping yet I'll leave that one for a minute but I've got to get these wheels off first anyway I'll get them wheels off first and then we'll do the stripping so um, all this can go in I'm going to do it in the old foot long hot, chop, hot dog jar as um, Rob would say on Rob's Matchbox Garage so that's what we're going to use hopefully I can get it all in, in there I'm trying to slide it down there without bending I don't want it I don't want it to crack anything so all these bits can go in there like that and I'll just get these wheels off a minute quick and then we'll dump that piece in as well. Okay folks, I've got it in the old dog jar. So 
let's get this all strapped just hope the jaw don't crack or robs them anyway so shouldn't they shouldn't do by rights right then let's give it a bit of a fizz up doing its thing anyway so we'll leave that let that all come off and then we'll get back and we'll get it stripped get it shined up with the old white brush okay got all these bits all nicely um, cleaned up now took them out the old core stick give them the uh, wire brush um, treatment so I polished the wheels up while I was at it I put a bit of polish on them while I was at it I thought I got the Dremel out so I might as well do that so that's got to be all painted up now and I'm doing this like the um, same colour as what crap old Nick done is it's going to be a red you know what do you call it trailer with a black base and the green Land Rover but I, like I say I haven't got that canopy piece that goes on there and I haven't got a horse neither so you're just going to have to bear with me for that folks I have done one other thing though I have made a box to put it in so that's what it's going to look like so if we put that there that will remind us of the colours we can do it because <laughs> I've got a very short memory <laughs> So there you go. Anyway, let's um, get spraying. Right, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear me very well, but the paint I'm using for this is the same as I used on the um, on the uh, fire engine. The, uh, oh, what's it called? Simon Snorkel. And you don't need to lacquer it. Well, don't lacquer it. Cause I put that on there because the last time I lacquered something for this, it all flaked up. And this is enamel paint. I think that's the reason. So this is going straight onto the metal now. Look at that do for that. <clears throat> it's going to have to have another coat, but it's alright for now. Okay, right. Let's do the um, actual body of the trailer now. to the inside because it will be visible so there I think that will be be ample for now it's looking pretty good Okay, I've already undercoated the um, base plate as you can see for the trailer. 
Se lo tiene que ver el Pelé Cross. And that'll do that. And very nice. And for our um, Land Rover, I've got the um, Ford Modena Green. If you can see that. Gotta put the old fan on again. Go. This screen here looks pretty near to what the actual original green is. <clears throat> I'm happy with this one. Get all that inside done. Right, let's get the other top. You never do it, folks. When that dries off, that'll be um, pretty good. Okay, right, first job. As you can see, everything's all nicely sprayed up now. First job, we've got to put these um, put these wheels back on here. So as you know, I actually grown the end of them off so I could get them out. So I'll be shoving back in there. I'm hoping I've got enough space to clear that, I should be alright. I think the axle's come out quite a bit. That tyre there is a bit dodgy, but I put that little chunk on the inside, so... There, now that'll go on my drill press now. And I shall peen that over with me, um... I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll set the camera up. Because I've only showed it once, I think. I think it's on the car transporter, so I should set the camera up and we can um, peen these over. Right, so what you do is you get the old big end of the pin down there. You're supposed to hold that with a, with a pair of pliers ready, but I don't. Switch the old drill on, it's going to be very noisy, folks. There's the ON. If you can see that, it's all um, done. So we'll stick the other one in. Proceed through. back in there done right now we've done that we can just put this 
back on to this. I've got my little rivet there ready, look. So I'm losing. Now, as I said, you've got to put this in an angle like that. So it clips into there. And while you've got the angle there, you slide your door in. Because it goes in the two little grooves and then you close it up like that. Then he won't fall out then, see? So I mean you can clip it in there if you want it like that. And then you clip that piece down over the old if I can get it over there. There he is. And then all we do then bit of glue, bit of super glue. And the other there. And we stick a little rivet in there. Proceed down. And that's job done. That's job done for that, and that's that finished. And then you've got your little door opens up that at the back. And there you go. All I want is a little horse to put in there now. I ain't bloody got one of them, that's the only trouble. This door's very loose on this one, it was loose when I started it actually. But it'll, it'll be alright, it's alright when it's shut. It is very old after all. Anyway, that's that done. Next bit, Land Rover. I've put some tyres on it. What I've used is Hornet tyres from 268 Green Hornet. I bought a set of them and I've used them because it is a Land Rover so you do have more heavy duty tyres on it. So I'll put them on it. <clears throat> I've stuck the hook underneath there because the rivet got to go in through there anyway. So I've just stuck it on the bottom of the plate. So anyway, let's put the old doodad together. That one there just slots in there. The old pin. I found a better pin to put on it. I'm going to have to tap it on, I think. Proceed down. Because if you look on this pin, it's got like some things. Like, um,. To grip it, if you know what I mean. And take a bit of pushing down, I think, that one. Saying that, I don't think it wants to go down, folks. <coughs> Put it this way, I don't think it'll come out again, do you? <laughs> Not after all this. Certainly don't think he's going to come out again. Could go with a bit further. You don't want to go in there. There's always something that slows you up when you're doing restores and I'm pulling through them on there I think he's come through a bit I'm pulling too far <laughs> I thought he looked a bit too much that's it a little tire goes on there. Tap back through again.
No, 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 look with this, folks. I think I'll do it. Yeah, as long as that still fits on all right, I'm quite happy. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Right, now that bit's in, dealt with. We'll put our glass in. This glass, all I've done is polish this. I didn't put it in the old dipper or nothing. Come up beautiful, it did. Is that in right? Yeah. Put the old seating back in. And then we just drop that on top of there. This front piece. I couldn't really, I couldn't draw much into that, so I think what I ought to do really there is put a bit of glue on here, just to help it along, if you know what I mean. I might just stick a bit in there while I'm at it. Because I couldn't really draw too far into that. So I'll stick a bit on there. going to help that a bit. Stick a bit of glue there. Put the little modified rivet in there just to cover the hole up really that is. That's all that's for. Did I cut it small enough? Just, that's the thing. Put a bit of glue in the back. Stick a bit around. Just to help it. Stick a little bit in there. There he goes. And then that should be that. Then all I've got to do now is put the old, what do you call it on there, the uh, back lights. There's the hook. The old back lights can go on, and the front lights and what have you. And we've um, rescued yet another one from the scrap heap, you might say. They don't make toys like this anymore folks you won't be able to do this without the crap they dish out these days 50 years time it will be nothing left of it I should think or 60 years time not this stuff though it goes on forever that's why it's nice to bring them back to like they was when they was new right I'm going to put the old paint the old bumper on and the lights and what have you and then we'll um, take a look at it in the old turntable and see what it looks like. Of course I haven't got the old canopy or the horse, but, you know, that can be shown later on. I can do that on my yearly roundup. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is uh, what we started with, with the um, the old trailer. Um, Paul Paulette is the... Um, kind donator of this um, trailer, the actual um, Land Rover I, I picked up myself at a toy fair and um, thought, yeah, you know, 
I can make a nice little set out of this, make the old rice pony trader set. So anyway, it wasn't too bad nick that trader, just needed taking apart and respraying really. Well no broken parts on it. The Land Rover, same thing, no no broken parts. As you can see I already got the screen out. So anyway, after we um, did our magic and um, did our little restoration on it, this is how she turned out. Not too bad at all, I don't think. Nice new paint job, nice green on it, now. nice red. Looking all nice polished up wheels and well, what more can I say? <laughs> Just looks nice. <laughs> Could do with the horse, but I mean I can always um, get that at a later date. And the old canopy, I am got a canopy for the old Land Rover. But anyway, apart from that, I'm quite pleased how this came out. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I've got a little snippet right at the end of the box with the, um, you know, on the plinth and all that. I'll show you that now. So like I was going to say, if you all enjoyed this video. I shall be back again very soon with another restoration, hopefully next week. So until then, it's bye bye from me.